Okay, what I'm going to do is create a lion out of chocolate with a strawberry. In this case, I'm going to do a cherry. So what I'm going to do is just open up my the one I already worked on and finished in the two files that I want to work with. Just to give me an idea of what, I are, what we're going to be creating and what we're going to use to make it. So here's the file I already created. I entered this into a Photoshop contest. I don't know how it's going to do. I'll post back. And here's the picture that I created it out of. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this and open this file. What I'm going to do now is take my magic eraser tool just to get rid of the white background to make it a little easier to work with. Okay, I'm going to have to create a white background now. <clears throat> but what I'm going to do here is just con I'm going to contract uh, the pixels around the outside by two pixels, just basically to any white spots that are left I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to inverse it and then press the delete key. And I'm going to create a white background. <coughs> and you see that, that there's why I contracted a little bit just to get the smooth look after I put it back on the, on the, the other background. And I'm going to select the round the line now for I can add a brown color over it. Oh, I was supposed to create a new layer there. My bad. I'll put that above there just for a second. There we go, I'll make that white. I'm going to make this the brown layer and put it above the lion layer just so basically I have a shape of the lion and brown over top of the lion and I'm going to set the setting to it to a hard light I'm going to change the opacity a little bit just to get the detail to come through a little bit better and I'm going to deselect. Now I'm just going to merge the two layers together to make it easier to work with. And I'm going to deselect. Now I got basically the line in brown. <laughs> Doesn't look like much yet, but we're going to add a lot of highlights and shadows and stuff like that. And we'll get to that in a little bit. I'm just going to rename my layers here. And I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm going to call it my smudge layer. What I'm going to do now is get my smudge tool and you basically want to smudge the line anywhere that you see a lot of detail and you want to make sure that sample all layers is selected and just go with a strength of 25, 24, 25 I'm going to hit the, make sure sample all la layers is selected and you can use a brush decent size but make sure it has the feathered edge just so that it's not so hard looking and you're just basically going to go around and go with the flow of the image anywhere that the, with the shape of the lines and just smudge smudge out the detail a little bit just to give it that smooth chocolate look. I, I don't think I've ever seen a chocolate with that much detail to it so you want to try to make it look as realistic as possible this is kind of a long process so I'm just gonna do a little bit here and then I'm gonna pause the recording and smudge the rest and then pick it back up I'm just going to give you a general idea of what you want it to look like. I'll work on a bit of the face here. Then I'm going to just this is just to show you that um just the uh, what it looked like before I did the smudging here's the middle hair just to give you an idea of how much you should smudge here's the face I'm gonna create a new layer and cut the highlights I'm going to switch to a white and I'm going to get my brush tool and just I'm going to set it to a one uh, I might need a little bit bigger but I'm going to go to a one here you're probably going to think I'm crazy and I'm just drawing lines all over the line but I'll show you what we're going to do here it's going to add kind of a smooth 
glowy f reflection to the chocolate. So I'm just going to click once, hold shift, and then click somewhere else. I, I think that's a little small. So I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going to go down here a little bit and select a three size brush instead. Basically anywhere that you, you think that a reflection from the light would be, any corners or parts that are up higher than, that have a little bit more height or than depth, just add a little bit of weight to it. This is the same thing with the smudge, and I'll do a little bit just to show you, and then I'll pause the video, and after I'm done doing the whole thing. Okay, that's good enough for now. I'll just show you what we're going to do with the lines. We're going to get our smudge tool here. One sec. And you're basically going to make it try to look like it's almost rounded. I'm going to go with a 21 here. Well, actually, 27 should do. And then I'm going to go up and down just to make it look like it, it's almost rounded. It'll take a little while to smudge. And you can do this with the highlight tool too, but I find you have more control when you're when you're doing this with like just a layer in the voice. You're going to smudge it in, and after you're done, you can change the occupancy a little bit, just to, just to give it a little bit of a highlight. Do, 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 do. I should have music. It's the first time I actually recorded my voice.